Hi everyone, uh, this is Ruben, Zcoin's community manager. I, I know I promised an update like late last week. Got caught up in a bunch of things, so I'm sorry for the slight delay, but here I am. Um, so actually last week, uh, we, a group, a bunch of us went to Bangkok to meet each other. I think like Aizen, me, Poraman, Sebastian, uh, and yeah, Aaron. We were all there to actually the, kind of have a, like a strategy meeting. And we actually achieved a lot of things. We talked about Xenos, better work allocation, uh, project manager. Some of you may have actually already seen the pic pictures of us uh, online. Uh, you know, we we really had the uh, you know it was actually my first time meeting Aizen, uh, and it was good seeing the team. Uh, uh, we we also like uh, talked about marketing. Also met up with our Chinese investor Tim Lee. It's a very fruitful meeting. I can't disclose so much of what was discussed there, but the rest assured you know it was all setting the right stage for what's next for Zcoin. And <clears throat> let's first start off with well, our latest release, uh, which is <coughs> version 13.3. And all right, let's see how we can get there, right? Can get here and you can take a look at the latest change log. Okay, so you notice that this is a mandatory upgrade. We noticed that a lot of you have not updated yet. So please, 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 before you report any issues of not syncing or anything, please do update your wallet as soon as possible. Uh, you would definitely need to update it by the 9th of November because it's the hard fork. And um, well, it's not, it's not going to be like, you know, some of you are a bit worried that this is going to be like a Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin. No, a hard fork basically just means that your new software is not compatible with the old software. So everyone is forced to upgrade to the new software. Uh, while a soft fork means that, you know, your older clients are still compatible. So if you saw uh, like our previous releases, uh, like 2.9, 2.8, they were like all soft uh, soft-ish <coughs> um, but with 13.3 <coughs> it's a mandatory upgrade and the upgrade is kicking it and block 60,000 we're still a bit way off about more than a week more than that and uh, what's the reason for this hard fork? well I think one of the major ones would be the zero coin library security improvements uh, I wouldn't go through too much into this. I will let the role, you know, let, let the hard fork go through and then I will tell you all about this amazing new security improvement for ZeroCoin. We want to make sure it's kicked in and everything's working before we disclose what these are. Uh, special credits to Tim Ruffing, uh, you know, the, the cryptographer that really, really helped us a lot with this. Um, and, you know, this is, this is actually really major. Uh, you know, we really... It's a lot of work and it, it rep represents the first update to Lib Zero Coin in a very long time. And it, it's uh, quite a major improvement in, in security. And we'll, we'll explain this more later once the uh, hard fork rolls across. <clears throat> I don't think any other coin that's using Zero Coin has implemented it yet. You know, maybe they're aware of it. We've given them heads up to take a look at our Zero Coin code when available. So hopefully they've picked up uh, what needs to be done to be changed. But right now it looks like we're the first ones to actually really improve the zero coin code. Um, we we'll, the other reasons for the hard fork is also because uh, you know there's some bugs where the founder wallets uh, blocks were not being included. Uh, we've already found the problem. It's not a big one. It only affects the founders. Just a few blocks missing. Uh, the founders reward. And uh, that will be gone. Uh, that will be fixed at block sixty thousand as well. And we're also increasing the number of zero coin spend transactions that we allow per block. Currently, it's set as a very conservative one because we would, you know, we didn't want to like. It was very heavy on the pools, so, and also at the, at the same time, you know, if there was any problems. We were limiting the damage by doing one zero coin span per block so we had time to deal with it uh, but as we get more and more confident we will be increasing the spend uh, transactions and actually the one thing that we haven't we kind of kept this low but since we have something a bit more concrete right now is that so you know we have zero coin version one which is what we're on right now and we're going to have zero coin version two at block sixty thousand with this new lib zero coin update 
we actually are already testing zero coin version three. <laughs> um, it's through the work of Peter Shugulev. He saw some ways to really improve the verification time and security of zero coin. It's going to make our code a lot more in a lot better shape so that you know our third parties uh, can audit it. And I, uh, you know, it's because we noticed that um, some of the verification was kind of overdone because the uh, permit was a bit uh, cautious and we realized that there are a lot of ways that we can make the verification time of zero coin transactions a lot lower and uh, <clears throat> so we're really really excited at this i'm not going to give an exact time frame the code is actually being tested right now like we do have a working zero coin version three <clears throat> it's just that um you know we want to make sure that it really works because it's so important and um yeah you know we leave that for a surprise when we re release zero coin version 3 and this really really i think this would def i mean we feel that we already have the best zero coin implementation out there and this really would blow it out of the water and i'll just leave it at that and we'll surprise you we don't want to let lead on too much for the competition to find out what we're doing but we're really excited about this i think those of you you know who have been hanging out in the discord uh can sense my excitement <laughs> and uh, well right now even with the 13.3 actually since 2.9 the zero coins mints and spends are much much more reliable there were times where people were not having their mints and spends confirmed this seems to be an issue of the past all the major pools have updated to the new 13.3 so they're all ready for the hard fork uh exchanges have been notified they're a bit slow in updating you know we're gonna prod them a bit more bitrex is already aware and informed uh so we don't foresee any major issues there uh so yeah i think um koinomi is already uh pushed the update uh we'll just double check with them i think i think they're stuck on one of the blocks but no worries i think you know they're already informed and should be fixing it and um uh, yes also yeah after we well we'll announce that a bit later so okay another thing is that you know the hash rate is still very very much in mining pool hub and mining pool hub is an amazing pool and, and he's been really really helpful to us and everything but you know in the interest of spreading out the hash rate you know supernova has zero percent fees right now and it now has actually a quite a decent hash rate to find blocks so you do feel quite uh, find quite a few blocks with it and we would recommend uh you know to help spread out the hash rate please switch some of your hash rate to supernova um if i believe the url is xzc.supernova.cc so yes please do uh, switch your hash rate over to them uh, well, not all. Just make sure that it's uh, sort of spread out. Now, I know a lot of you have been asking me about the Zcoin development pool. Uh, we're probably abandoning that for the moment because we're actually focusing on the P2 pool um, aspect. P2 pool is a distributed pool. That means it's like um, there's no one pool operator. It's a decentralized pool. So I, we feel that that's the best expression of what a decentralized mining pool should be about. Uh, we've already got something kind of working. We're running through a few bugs. Swift Sam has, you know, helped us a lot of it. Currently, we're like focusing all on Z Node, so we don't really have that much spare capacity to develop too much time on that. But uh, rest assured that Swift Sam is working on it, and you know he's really motivated to get it moving. Uh, so Z Nodes, yes, very. Everyone's probably wondering how is it going along. Um, Z Nodes development is going well, <coughs> so. <clears throat> we're more or less on track slight slight delays but i think nothing of like you know really serious no serious delays uh, the payment code is done so we're just fixing some compilation issues that means like you know the whole mechanism of getting the the payments out to the uh, payments out to the master node holders are all done it's just fixing some bugs testing it and uh, <coughs> after that's done we should feel, take maybe a few days what remains to be done is stripping the mixing the because this comes from dash code right so we have to strip out the the private send functions which is no use to us because it's an inferior type of setup especially when we already have zero coin so that we're totally removing those parts of the code 
we will be keeping the instance end and the governance features inside but we will be disabling them for the moment just in case we you know it turns out to be good in the future right because you know we have a long block time a lot of people have expressed you know can you imp implement instance send and stuff like that um we're not so sure how how secure instance send is so we're a bit like hesitant in enabling it but we're just keeping the code in and we can enable it later at a, a different time uh, for the moment we aren't considering governance at this point in time because well we're kind of new in the we're kind of new in the coin and we want to make sure that uh, we can take it in the direction without involving too much politics right now. I mean, we've seen, you know, the governance model, it's all good on paper, but what actually happened turns up, uh, it hasn't been the, the, the most easiest of things to run. And I think it will probably come at a better stage <coughs> a bit further down into development. Okay, as for numbers and rewards, yes, everyone's asking how much for Xenos, when is it coming? Well, you already, you know, we're going to probably release in late November. Uh, we aim to have it ready earlier, but we're probably going to be releasing in late November because we all know about the Setwick 2X issue and that's going to be a really volatile period and all the news <coughs> is going to be about... Bitcoin, 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 Segway 2X, a lot of FUD will be thrown around. And we feel that if we're going to release it during that time or even before that time, it's just not going to have the effect that we want. Uh, and it's also probably good to like, you know, to let everything calm down a bit before we make such a major release. So just to give you a heads up, probably releasing in late November. I know we did say mid-November, but you know, I hope you understand it's like... Yeah, two weeks, I mean, one, two weeks isn't going to really make a difference. I did say that. And, but I think more importantly is that we want to release at the right time. So I hope we will understand this. As for the number and rewards, uh, we're finalizing some economical decisions. We had a really long talk about this in, um, <clears throat> in Bangkok. Uh, but we also have to talk to our initial seed investors, so like, uh, including Roger Ver. I uh, just want to solicit a bit more feedback before we lock down the numbers. And hopefully, uh, depending on how fast these guys get back to us, uh, then we can uh, commit more on the, the figures and numbers required. Uh, all right. So, yes, I think that covers uh, Zenote development. You know, don't worry, you're still on track. Um, yep. Uh, also, right after this, I know a lot of you have been asking about ledger integration, ledger integration, and, you know, I am also have a ledger here. I'm really, I really want to use this on, on, on the ledger. And <clears throat> we have, have some inroads into the ledger integration. Uh, we will be prioritizing it after Z notes because that would be really important for us. So, um, yeah, just hang on that. You know, it, would, it wouldn't come like, really really soon but it'll be our next focus after uh aizen and sn and maybe even real them will be like focusing on the legend integration there's been some work done not a lot uh but we we are we are we have now a contact with the ledger team so we're really excited about that uh what else right okay so a lot of you may have noticed that we have moved away from slack and moved to discord so the reason for this is that slack is really really bad for like public communities <clears throat> what actually happened was someone sort of spammed our um someone actually spammed our invite link and like spamming with like four five hundred uh, invites and what actually happens then is that no new person can join in and the really annoying thing is that even removing these invites will not lift that problem. So you need to open the support ticket. They'll probably ask you to buy the premium version of Slack, which is so expensive. And, you know, I think a lot of other crypto communities have also discovered this too. So we are now moving to Discord. Uh, and it's a lot better. There's a lot of moderation features. I did cover this in the last update, so I won't talk too much about it. But from now on, you know, if you want like quick updates from me, you want to chat with me, the best place to contact me is Discord. 
we're looking at building some bridges. Uh, there's some somebody that offered to do it. We'll see what happens. Uh, bridges, basically the bridge, Telegram, IRC, Riot all together. I really, really like Riot and Matrix. Like, it's really good, but no one uses it. So, well, we, the Discord would probably be like the second. Like, you know, most people know how to use Discord. And it's a lot easier to use. So, yep. Uh, please do join our Discord channel. Uh, I, I believe our website is updated with that. Let's see. So, yes, you see, join us on Discord. No more on Slack. We're, and now Discord is number one. So just click on it, you know, it will open it an invite and your Discord app will be launched. All right. So make sure you switch over to Discord. All right, marketing. Some of you have asked me on this, what has happened with Naga DDB? After a really, really long bang and forth thing, that they come back with plans, they came up with um, they came up with a a proposal that wasn't really what we wanted. It, it was a bit bare, and you know, I was like saying, look, you know, I kind of need to know what we're getting for the money. Uh, and then they said, well, if you want to know that, you know, we probably need to speak more meet us in person and things like that so we're not very confident we feel that they're maybe not the right fit for a crypto project we haven't closed off uh the, the whole relationship or might just pop by to see them but uh, we are definitely exploring new options we actually have a new contact which we already started working with uh, we're just like preliminary work it's really highly mo motivated the smaller team but they're familiar with crypto and I think that's really important. They actually did a sort of like initial brief and report like marketing report to see, uh, you know, where's our strong points, where we can improve. And it's, they came up with some interesting stuff actually, like um, I'll just show parts of it for you. Some of it I can't share. But <clears throat> so like you see with this, like the social media, you know, we've increased to like 11.6 thousand, which is really good. And it's really good that only like 10% of it is fake. I have no idea why they're fake. I didn't buy them. But yes, you know, it looks like the majority of our users are real. So it's just good to know. <laughs> uh, but what's another really interesting thing that's also further in this report is actually that it showed that Reddit, even though we only have, you know, not that many subscribers and readers, was actually like the most, had the most engagements. So... And that, that surprises me because I thought Twitter was was the, the place to be, but the real engagement was actually coming from Reddit, from a small call group of people. And I think we're going to focus more of our efforts on Reddit. So Reddit users, you know, we'll be there. Don't worry, you know, we'll reply a lot faster now because we, we hear you. Okay. Uh, also, another interesting thing is to see where like Twitter engagements are coming from. So obviously this excludes China because China doesn't have Twitter, well, it blocks Twitter. And this is really interesting. Like we can see that, you know, yeah, US, of course, you know, Europe, like there, Malaysia, uh, you know, where we've been focusing a lot of our efforts from. Uh, oh, look, so it's even like Indonesia, you know, South, Amer South Africa. And India and Pakistan, which is quite interesting. Like, uh, it's a very interesting mix. So obviously we know where we need to build. Like, you know, Russia is totally blank. Uh, I don't know, is Russia, is Twitter block in Russia? I'm not quite sure. But I just thought this was really interesting. It was quite a diverse group. And we'll hopefully be expanding our reach a lot more. Okay, uh, yes. And also we are hoping to have, you know, some people have commented that I'm not the most presentable person i'm no amanda v johnson <laughs> uh yeah so you know I'll, I'll continue doing all these community updates um but we're hoping to have a, a more like pleasant looking host to the host on casual topics like you know why is privacy in the cryptocurrency important i think it's more geared towards uh, people who are newer to crypto or may not fully understand the privacy and you know i think it does help to have a friendly face uh and the more approachable topics and not so like 20 minute videos with with me talking about this and we'll, well she's going to take um a sample video this weekend and hopefully it turns out well i'm really looking forward to that and having a 
someone else talking besides me. <laughs> okay, uh, another thing that's really important, I know a lot of you have been talking about, wow, oh, exchanges, exchanges, and when's the next exchange you're listing? Well, Binance, okay, we did actually approach them. We looked at about, first we did approach them directly, and we said, look, do you, can you, um, can you list us? <clears throat> they offered a really, really high exchange integration fee. It's actually like significant lower to what we know they have offered other coins because they believe and we had an introduction from Roger as well. But it was still a lot of money. I wouldn't disclose too much. But uh, we managed to get them to get us on the community voting. And that will open sometime tomorrow at 4 p.m. UTC. So the URL is binance.com slash vote.html. Now, this is still on the second session, so because it hasn't been updated. And, uh, but, you know, when, when the, later on, when it rolls around, this will be updated and Zcoin will be one of the options here as well. So, you know, if you guys uh, would, well, I don't, don't actually know how much 0 0.1 BNB is, but, you know, please, you know, register an account with Binance. You know, they want the hot and upcoming exchanges have lots of coins on there. Uh, you know, and please, please, please do vote for us. Um, you know, doesn't cost a lot of money to do it. I don't know, let me see how much BNB Binance coin. <clears throat> 0 0.1. Oh, cheap. Cheap stuff. Um, 0 0.1 BNP. Ah, it's peanuts. So, you know, please uh, pay... You know, it's a, it's going to be a lot harder for us to give you the money to vote. So please, you know, it's not a lot of money. Do vote. Uh, and we really, really appreciate it. And we really hope to win uh, this vote. As you see, like the, the votes you need to win is like 3,000, 4,000. So we need all the help that you can get. Uh, we, I mean, we, we need all the help that we can get. So please uh, do register and vote. And especially uh, Nova Exchange is actually closing down. Uh, not, not just us, the exchange as a whole is closing down. So remember to withdraw your funds uh, as soon as possible. If you are having issues, please do let us know and we'll see if we can talk to Nova to you know, make sure that the wallets are enabled. Just let us know, okay? Uh, TDAX, uh, Parmin's Exchange, the Thai Digital Asset Exchange, should be about the first or second week of November that Zcoin will be listing. So there'll be another interesting with a Thai bot pairing. So that's really good. Um, okay, so Sebastian and Thai Rodan are at DEF CON right now. Uh, they're presenting, they'll be presenting the debt on Zcoin and Ethereum and seeing you know what interest we can get. Uh, Paramin actually was supposed to go, but because of the upcoming hard fault, he decided to stay back to make sure that the hard fault went through. So yeah, you know, a bit of a downer, but um, you know, we are definitely, you know, our priority right now is Zcoin development. So I think that's it for the updates. Um, you know, it's a bit shorter than usual. And if you have any questions, you know, drop them in the comments below. And yes, uh, you know, make sure to come through Discord. Make sure to vote through Binance. Oh right, I forgot to show you our new GUI. So GUI, it's almost there. Um, we now have the <coughs> the other screens. Uh, we have someone else that's going to help to sort of like align everything and make things more more visible and like uh, distinct. But you know, basically, this is the general look of how the new GUI will look. So um, once we finish with the design, we still need someone to code it in. Uh, we're gonna find someone to do that, but it should not be really complicated. So we really look forward to pushing this look out so we don't have this like really ugly thing here. <laughs> yes, yeah, we, we know it's ugly uh, and you know, looks more hip and fit fitting to our image so okay that's it from me thank you very much and have a good week ahead